Hey, what is going on guys? Danny here and in this video, I wanted to take a look at the recently released Vegas Pro 15 video editing software by Magix, and in particular, I wanted to focus on the impact it had on my Ryzen system. Now I'm sure this software doesn't need any sort of introduction or anything like that. I'm sure many of you guys are already using it, if not have used it at one point back when it used to be called Sony Vegas. I'm not really going to be focusing on any of the UI changes or the extra effects options that they've added in the new revision or anything like that. For this video, what I mainly wanted to talk about were the results I obtained by running a few rendering tests with Vegas Pro 14 and Vegas Pro 15. Now I was recently in the transition of moving to Adobe Premiere mainly because rendering times are much better than Vegas Pro 14 and it actually has a working GPU acceleration feature. Whereas even though Vegas Pro 14 does have a GPU acceleration feature using CUDA, it flat out just didn't work or at least not for the 10 series Pascal cards. I've played around with tons of options but there was no improvement in some, and in some cases rendering times were worse. The other reason was that Vegas Pro 14 appeared to have some kind of trouble taking advantage of multiple threads. I noticed that while rendering each thread on my CPU would only hover around 40 to 55%, so clearly it wasn't taking full advantage of my Ryzen 7 1800X. Therefore, I was looking into other alternatives and Adobe Premiere Pro seemed like the best option. That wasn't until I recently saw an email that Vegas Pro 15 was released and that they had made some significant changes that would help immensely with rendering times. So I decided to try it out for myself. To quickly go over some system specs, my PC consists of an AMD Ryzen 7 1800X, which has been overclocked to 3.9 GHz, and I have 16 GB of G-Scale Trident Z memory, which I have overclocked to 3,333 MHz. For the graphics card, we have an EVGA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti SC Black Edition. For full system specifications, you guys can check that out in the video description down below. So for my rendering test, I could have taken a 2 minute clip of some random gameplay footage, rendered it without touching anything, and say hey look at the difference, it's like 5 seconds, yay. But I felt like that wouldn't have been appropriate for this test. So instead I used the project file from my 1080 Ti review. This was an 11 minute 42 second video that contained visual enhancements such as color correction, brightness and contrast, as well as some sharpening. Many pictures and videos were cropped and resized with multiple scene transitions. And of course there were a lot of layers to be worked with here. By using this project file, it would give you guys a better outlook on an actual real world scenario rather than some short gameplay clip that wouldn't have truly reflected the performance gains. Now this project was rendered out using the main concept AVC codec, or the Magix concept as they're calling it now in Vegas Pro 15, with the resolution and frame rate set to 1080p 60 frames per second re respectively. A constant bitrate of 28 megabits per second with the rendering quality set to best as that's what I had used when I uploaded it to YouTube. And this was overcompensating as YouTube only recommends 12 megabits per second for videos with high frame rate at 1080p. But we all know how garbage their processing is, but I digress. So let's go ahead and take a look at the results. I have to say that I'm very impressed because whatever improvements and optimization tweaks they made, it was very effective. With Vegas Pro 14, it took 2,776 seconds or 46 minutes and 16 seconds to complete the render. However, with Vegas Pro 15, the time was cut to less than half, 1,260 seconds or 21 minutes flat out. And that's without any GPU acceleration. This is just using the CPU to render. Like I mentioned before with Vegas Pro 14, the CPU utilization was horrible, but with Vegas Pro 15, the utilization was much better. We're seeing all threads hovering around 90 to 100%, and this is excellent. The software is finally taking advantage of Ryzen's multi-threading performance, which it excels at. So I was quite happy to see these results. But wait, it gets even better. And this is to go even further beyond. This is the result that I got when I had used NVIDIA's NVENC as the encoder. They've clearly got it working now, and not only that, but it has cut down rendering times tremendously. With the exact same settings, the video was rendered out in 518 seconds or 8 minutes and 38 seconds. That's 742 seconds faster than the previous result, and 2258 seconds faster than the result I got from Vegas Pro 14. So a massive, massive improvement there. Magix have done an excellent job at bringing better performance over the previous versions, as it was a much needed performance boost at that. My main concern with switching to a different video editing software altogether was solely based on attaining better render times, but it looks like I may not have to make the switch just yet. Well guys, I hope you found this video to be informative and helpful, and if it was, then leave a like. If you have any questions, thoughts, or comments, then leave them in the comment section down below, and if you're interested in seeing more content like this, then make sure you're subscribed. 
Thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.